hi guys welcome back to tiny town and the sims 4 now sorry i've not done an episode for over a week i've been busy with some real life stuff and things that ticked priority um also i'm looking all over the internet to try and get rid of the grim reaper shiz that keeps popping up in the left hand corner um i have found a workaround um, but it really really is annoying and EA should make it optional that you can opt out of these things but I have found a workaround online and in case any of you other guys are wanting to know what it is here it is I found it on the EA forums um, basically open your options in game and disable online features quit the game and then go inside and delete that data DB package and then when you reload it, it's gone um, but it also means that you can't access online other online things. But that's fine for me. I just didn't want that blooming grim reaper stuck up there all the time. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, let's get on with it. In our previous episodes, our lovely vampire guy has um, got to know Gillian Gardner. And um, I didn't... I'm so dozy. I didn't realise she's actually one of my sims. <laughs> she's based on one of my neighbours. Because I was going to do a little video about uh, building where I live and outside and everything. And she was one of my neighbours. So what we're going to do, because they do have amazing, amazing uh, compatibility, is I'm going to build her a little house and give her a makeover. But that video is going to be for members only. So next time you see Gillian, um, she's going to be a little bit different. A little bit of a makeover. And she's going to have her own house. Oh. Okie dokie, I've done a little bit of writing off camera because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to get too bored watching him write all the blooming time. <laughs> so he's done one for the freelancer and that was to write a non-fiction book. So that is already done now. So we can actually go to freelancer and... Oh, do it this way? <laughs> Tend to client for approval. There we go. Do we have a post box around here? Do I have to put it somewhere? Oh, absolutely. Straight in there. Look at that. Oh, we've got nearly £2,000. Nearly £2,000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look on the outside of this building. Is there a post box anywhere near? Because if there isn't, I'm going to slap one on somewhere. How about we put one around here? Because it just makes sense that we have one while we're in this area how about putting that one there just like that because the second thing he's what's there where's he found rock climbing gear from i found some earbuds and some rock climbing gear from somewhere <laughs> anyway he was um feeling pretty confident um earlier on so i had him write a book called staying positive when you're dead <laughs> so um we can't post it from here oh well okay let's get back home then and we shall go and self-publish from home oh we're back home <laughs> just this place look bare we'll soon get it all filled up we'll soon will but we do have 1400 there to spend so i'm thinking with that thousand we should get him his own little uh Go and put this away, dude. Put it away. You know what I'm thinking. What am I thinking? What's the word I'm thinking of? Laptop. Laptop. We should get him his own little laptop, shouldn't we? They're about a thousand. Standard portable computer. Laptop. Um, got to wait till he's put that thing away, haven't we? Come on, dude. Put it away. Put it away, please. I want to buy you a laptop. Will you please put it away? Thank you. I don't know. Sims, eh? Sims. There we go. Get my black one. Now he's got his own computer. Brilliant. Now we can crack on. We can do some work from home and stuff. So we're going to computer security lock computer for everyone but Raven. At least it's with 400. That's not a lot. So we're going to crack on and do some more uh, writing, I think. But... I was also thinking, guys, he needs to be joining a university as well. Really? 
Oh look, here's his friend. <laughs> You're looking pretty sad. What's up, dude? <laughs> uh, we do have two PowerPoints, but um, there's nothing really a lot we can do about that there. Oh, he seems to be very sad. Why are you sad? Gloomy presence from sad stay over guest. Oh dear. We don't want that, but he's getting a little bit thirsty, so let's ask permission to drink. He might be too sad to allow us, but we'll, uh, hopefully he's going to let it. Oh, he is. Bless him. Now, it's nearly six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> which is a bit too early for it to be doing anything. I've got to wait till night time. Because I want Raven to take his friend Jill on a date. And here she is. She looks a little bit different. Um, because what I did is I made a little members only video. Where we gave Jillian a makeover. And we also built her a little house. So that Raven can go over and stay sometimes. And uh, hopefully if they have children. We can go and visit some of the children. <laughs> but that's my plans. Jill will be his... Um, first love interest he might have a few more well you know others age he doesn't so who knows he could have quite a string of uh, lovely ladies okay the lottery has just popped up but i'm not going to do the lottery uh because that's just gonna be if we did win and we have never actually won the lottery in the sims but if we did it would just might look that we did and uh it would just make things too easy um so i'm not gonna do the lottery but what we are going to do is that johnny university we're going to apply or we're going to do some scholarships um with the most of the classes being during the day we're gonna to have to be very careful with him and i might only like do two classes a week there's only two chances he's gonna get caught out in the sunshine come on dude uh, education for all uh university scholarship supply and windenburg resident okay so that's wednesday that should come back in for friday i normally like to do it so we can start our college days on a friday and then we've got all weekend to get the um like homework and all the other bits and stuff we need to for university Get all that done over the weekend. But I think what I'm going to do now is do a little bit more work off camera. Over at the library. Or at home even on our new computer. And once we've got a couple more books done guys. I shall come back. Okie dokie. He's over at the Great British Pub. We'll have to think, think of it. For some reason he keeps taking his bloody shoes off. I don't know why. There must be a sign in here somewhere. To tell you to take your shoes off. But nobody else is taking the shoes off look. Oh, hang on. They are. They're all taking their shoes off in the pub. <laughs> this is crazy. Anyway, where was we? What was I saying? He's over at the Great British Pub, and we need to think of a new name for this place. Uh, something quite in keeping with the series. Maybe it's, uh, Fang, Fang Tooth and Claw, or Fang Tail and Claw. You let me know in the comments some ideas of what we can call this place. Uh, but let's go invite Jill on a date. Ooh. <laughs> um, I should have been from home actually, shouldn't I? Should be able to go there. Where is she? Is she coming in? Anyway, let's follow what we can do. Socialise with your date, sit and talk to your date. So we shall sit here together with no shoes on. Come off your computer, dude. That is his computer. So we're going to come off the computer, dude. Please. Put that in your inventory. Hopefully she's around. You can't get in there. Okay. Sit, and sit here together then. Where's Jill? Where is she? Jill. I can't see her anymore. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Hi, Jill. Right, we have to socialise and flirt. So let's go straight in with a bit of flirting. 
uh, attempt to swoon. There you go. And we'll also do some socializing. Uh, we'll do some small talk, get to know. Um, some friendly interests. Discuss favorite authors. What's he looking over there at? To talk to your date, dude. Friendly, um, deep thoughts. Can we do deep thoughts? Deep conversation. Uh, another flirtage, I think, should do that. Uh, exchange numbers. Tell her a story. Tell her a funny story, I think. She's got the skill fishing. Interesting. Why are you looking over there? Dude, stop talking to other people and talk to your date. How rude. Right. More flirtage. <laughs> uh, flirtation. Um, compliment appearance. We'll do... Bell pickup line. Are you going to tell her that story or what? Come on, dude. Uh, hobbies. Confused about writing. Do some more in. Discuss latest book. Yes, he did. The, he did it. Two deep conversations. Oh my goodness, mate. Okay. Friendly. Uh, deep thoughts. Deep conversation. One. Friendly. Deep thought and deep conversation. Two. Oh, and kiss your date. Um, shall we get a drink first? I think that might be an idea. Uh, order drinks. Order drinks for date group. Um, we're going to have to have plasma. <laughs> Obviously. Well, we're on to silver already. This is going very, very well. He hasn't quite done those deep... Oh, he's done... There you go. There's one. She's a vegetarian. Okay. He's not. <laughs> Jillian just became good friends with Raven. Awesome. Right, we're on to gold. He's going to go and order the drinks. And then we'll try and get a kiss in. And at some point, I'm going to have to figure out why these people are taking their shoes off in the pub. Oh, it's ghost night. <laughs> Okie dokie, Raven. We're going to do this. We're going to do it. Uh, physical intimacy. Uh, first kiss. Oh, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Keep your fingers crossed. Where's she going? Where's she going? Where are you going, guys? I don't understand why Sims have to get up and move. Do crazy stuff. It's working. It's working. Oh, Does that actually count the first kiss as a kiss? I don't think it does. I think we have to go in for the... Uh, oh, it did. Kiss your date passionately. Um, who? Okay. Um, it's not letting us, so I have to do a bit more romantic options first. Oh. Bless. Oh, romantic partners. Yes, I think we should. Jillian is sort of falling for Raven and wants him to and wants to ask him if he'd like a relationship. Yes, let's do that then. Nice. Uh we can do a kiss, and then I think after the kiss we can go in for the passionate kiss. <laughs> they're very excited about that aren't they bless right hopefully we should be able to go in for that now oh oh oof. Uh, not quite yet more choices where is the it's all woohooing what about passionate kissing guys oh my goodness where is it uh let's do the seduction whisper seductively get rid of all that rubbish on there Look at this hairdo with the pink, uh, pink hair. Come on, we need to get that going. Ah, just kiss, isn't there? There's no passionate kiss. Let's just go for another kiss then, and we should be able to get that passionate up soon.
Okay, dokey, look what's just bopped up. It's awfully warm in here. And Raven and Gillian can't seem to keep their hands off each other. Romantic partners with the steamy romance dynamic gravitate towards romantic socials with each other, especially in physical intimacy. Would you describe the romance between Raven and Gillian being steamy? Okay, let's go for it then. <laughs> Are we eventually going to get this passionate kiss or what? <laughs> it's still not showing up. Oh, there it is. There it is. We've got it. We've got it at last. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Live together. I don't think it's the right time, my dear. Oh, dear. Ouch. Raven and Jillian seem to have hit a rough patch already. Uh, we're not strained. No, we're not strained. Absolutely not. That was going a little bit too quick. Just a little bit too quick. <laughs> Let's get that passionate kiss done, guys. Come on. There we go. Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> wow. Just trying to get that book finished, and we have a date completed as well. Gold medal on a legendary date on our first date with Jill. And she's just helping him finish up his book as well. So hopefully that can get done. And uh, it's a motiv motivational book while confident. He was confident earlier when he started it. Oh, brilliant. There's something special in our Sims inventory. So just quickly get that approved. Give us some money, dudes. Give us some money. Put that back in our inventory. Uh, we've got another thousand. So let's get home, Raven, because we really, 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 really need to start work on our house. It's uh, looking pretty poor. Now, of course, Raven's little house is off the grid and we can't use the computer while there's no power. So, get into daytime so we can see what we're doing. Let's have a look at what power options we have. We've only got a thousand, so we probably won't be able to afford too much, if anything at all. Uh, the classic wind turbine is eight ninety five, or the solar panel roof. Ooh, that means, yeah, while the sun's out during the day, he can work, which seems like a good idea for a vampire. Now, what colour should we do? Green? Gosh, they're big, aren't they? Do it that way. Could sell a panel roof on an old graveyard, but, you know, <laughs> when needs must. When needs must. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's going to work. Um, let's just double check our where's our post box i forgot which side it's at um doo -doo -doo -doo. more choices no show bills information there it is um oh yeah you see he's gonna have to pay for the whole of this so it's thursday now and we need all this uh, 1704 by monday for the bills my goodness me and uh we're not gonna make a lot of power at all he's really gonna get crack on and do some work Hopefully, we might get a bit of power coming in now, though. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. Okie dokie, Raven has learned everything he can about vampires from that first book. So now we need to purchase a second one. Uh, we don't do it like that, though. It is Purchase Vampire Terms, Encyclopedia Vampirica, Volume 2. It's 150. I did have him go around and collect some frogs and things while it was dark. So we just have a little bit of extra money. So we're going to read that. I am going to... Where's the other vampire tub, dude? Don't tell me Willow's picked it up. Oh, it's there. I'm going to put that one down in our cupboard now. So it gets locked away and it doesn't get stolen by visitors or people we don't want to uh, nick it off us. And yep, we're getting the skill back up again now. Let's have a quick check on those skills and see where we are. Uh, he needs to work on his charisma. Absolutely, that's not very good. His vampire law is at number six. His romance is at level two. And his writing is also at level six. Um, we also need to be checking for gigs a bit later on. Do we actually have any power coming in from this solar? 
no. Ah, that might have been a waste of money. Ah, dear. Looks like we're going to have to go back to the blooming library or the pub to actually get some work done. But I'm just going to have him do a little bit more on his vampire lore and see if we can get some more power points up. Ooh, level 7. Nice going, Raven. He is now a minor vampire. He should be at skill level 10, I believe. Yep, vampire lore at skill level 10. And we should have four power points to spend. Ooh, now then. Mm. Withered stomach, I think, is a good one. They're not going to be eating any human food. Uh, don't want to do create vampires just yet. I do want to get some into strength because I want to start doing sparring and things and garlic immunity. Uh, yeah, let's go into there. And garlic immunity. That's what we're going to do for now. Now, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to have Raven travel over to the library and get some more work done, which I'll do off camera, guys, because as I said before, you really don't want to see him um, just writing all the time. Raven has come across to see Jill at her little house. Um, if you haven't seen this house, guys, there is a little video on members only. A uh, little speed build of how I built it and also when we, um, like, yes. had a little makeover for Jill as well. So, let's see what we can get up to. A bit of romance, perhaps? A little bit of physical intimacy, kiss her cheek? He's putting all the toys away, bless him. He's very tidy. <laughs> Joy. Ooh. <laughs> Ragnar. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> Hopefully we can get rid of this sad... <laughs> Um, too much time away from furry friends. Didn't realise he liked animals. I haven't set him up to like animals anyway. Oh, look at that. Having a little cuddle on the sofa. Oh, she doesn't like that. Oh, dear. Oh, she likes that, though. And here's um, Jill's little cat, Ralphie. Kind of sweet. So what I want to start doing... Yes, I know it's already a little bit too quick. Episode 2. But, uh, yeah, I want to see if we can not. Uh, oh, my choice is uh, try for a baby. Let's get this underway, guys. And hopefully it'll work. Because we're all set up at Jill's house. Well, uh, not now. Not now. Raven is starting to feel like an expert at flirting these days. At heart, he might just be a true romantic. Yeah, go on then. We'll embrace the change. Well, uh, not now. I'm busy, dude. Zorbo. <laughs> okay, let's clear off all of that. I don't want to miss anything. No, stop chatting, dudes. Unless you're going to go upstairs. You're going to go upstairs? No, come on. Somehow it's missed it. So we shall try that again. Oh, they are. I didn't miss it. They were just doing the talky thing before they actually, you know, do the deed. So we don't need to do it twice, I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, we won't uh, encroach on their private business for too long. I just want to work out. Uh, hey, okay, break out the candles, make it romantic. Raven is about to woohoo for the first time. Uh, let's leave them be and uh, we'll put this up. And that, like that. And we shall find out, ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, whether Gillian is pregnant and whether Raven is going to have his first child. So thanks ever so much for watching. Um, Again, apologies for not getting these episodes out quickly enough, but real life does come first, unfortunately. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. You take care now, and we'll see you in the next one.